Central Console Navigation. Hi, I'm Tanya and I'm going to take you through the Central Console course today. We'll look at what is the Central Console, how to search using the Client Filter, navigating around the Central Console, reviewing the design layout and how to launch other applications. We'll do this via demonstration. Firstly, when you open your Central Application List, the first application is called Central Console. Central Console is essentially your client database. When the Central Console is open, the band that you're in will show you at the top of your title page. So I can see I'm in Client Console. There are a possible number of consoles that we're looking at with inside the Central Console. The Client Band, the Matter Band, and you'll see that that will change on your top left hand side. Matters are the type of work that you do for clients. It's where you're going to store your timesheets against. Workflow is the milestones or the next level underneath matters. You may also see your compliance ribbons here. You've, you've got XPA, you'll see XPA ledgers there. And in New Zealand, you'll see your tax band. The other band that you see here is your personal band. So the personal console will have access to Practice IQ, which is a reporting module. And one common item here is a knowledge base. So if you're having trouble with anything and you need to search for something um, for help from Reckon APS, you'll be able to search for that within your knowledge base search. So let's focus on the client console. So as you can see here, as I change the console, it will default to your custom view layout. In my custom view layout, I have my details page on the left of the layout and I have four tabs across here to the right. Your screen might look a little bit different depending on the layout you've been applied. Down the left hand side you then have a number of sets of information. So everything that is I tick on the left hand side here will display on the right. And everything is relative to the particular client that is in the client filter. So a number of ways that you can search for clients is by typing an asterisk to search for any character with the word Isabel in it. It will return all the clients that have Isabel. You can then simply select the relative client and it goes to that particular record. If you're searching for something that has particular um, characters in it, an A, an N or a Y and press enter, it will look for any clients that have an A, an N and a Y in the sort name. So everything that we're looking for in here is to do with particular sort name. And the sort name is, is saved in the details page. So the details page shows the main things about the client in terms of their name. And a common item here would be the family group. So if I want to see where the A person Family Trust is a member of, this is the main person or the head of the group is Ivan Xavier Person and we would go to where used on a right click to see where that is particularly used. So our custom layout just shows us various sets of information along the left hand side. Up here on our ribbon at the top of the page, you'll see that you've got navigation, which will go through to your most recent 25 clients. You may need to hit refresh to refresh your page. The design tab will show you the design layout window. So depending on the type of information at the sets that you want to look at, you can change the layout. This allows you to drag and drop other items into your layout. You have a quadrant layout to use, so you can put items in different sections and you can simply remove items by taking them back. We suggest that you leave the items to very generic items that are not resource intensive. For example, a documents set would be quite resource intensive, so it would be best to leave that off your custom layout. Once you've saved and closed that, your layout will save for your login. Across the top here, you'll have an options area. If you have access to edit, anything on the set of the information itself will be in white so you can edit this. 
you may also have a plus and a minus for add and delete clients. That is all controlled through security. More advanced users have the ability to perform actions on the database and all users will have access to the basic reports for the selected client. There is a quick word merge function. If you want to send a letter to the particular client, this is available through a quick word merge option. Enter in subject and author, check the address that you're sending this through to and you can create a link to this client if you're using your advanced document management system. It will then prompt me to save that in the relevant year and name the file. Word will then open. With that particular information coming straight through from the Word Merge facility so that I can recall this back in my document management system. That's calling a profile of the document. So if I go down to the documents page, I can now see that I have that particular quick word merge document available to me. And because I profiled it, it's available in my context view and I can see and I can open that document from here. Depending on the edit mode rights will mean whether I can see these options. So documents are relative to the relevant document management system you have. This is using the native advanced document management system. You may be using virtual cabinet which would replace this or iManage. They would all sit in an, as an available set within your console. The most common sets are the details which has the name and the debtors information about the client. Attributes, which is who are the main people within the business working on the client. They are used for reporting purposes. And you may have some internal marketing attributes as well. The contact details set is a custom set here on this database. It's a, what we call a fusion set. So it has been customised by your consultant. It has pulled in information from more than one set so that it's available to view in one spot. And that's useful for your custom layouts. You may not have access to certain areas, they might be secured in read-only attributes. Addresses set is common to all databases, is where we store our physical postal street registered addresses. Matters show us what work we're doing for the client. And most importantly we're going to look at relationships. Relationships are a good way to navigate around your database so you can see who is related to who. You can also add relationships yourselves and these could be used in tax and helpful for you setting up your XPA ledgers. Simply right click, add new relationship and go through the wizard. Depending on the client type, will depend on the type of relationship that you get to choose. I'm going to select Isabel as a beneficiary and I would select the direction that the trust has the person as the beneficiary. It now then allows me to add that in there. Relationships are especially important if your practices are looking at using the CRM application or the Client Relationship Management System. We use relationships to pull people to come to events that are related to particular entities. Within the relationships area as well, you can also define who is your primary contact. So when you set a per, uh, principal or primary contact, when you do things like quick word merge and you have more than one contact listed, you can see here who it is that your primary contact is and you also have the ability to choose their address to send the information through to. Notes are just background information about the client and they again simply edit mode, right click and add new notes. Financial information such as debt and WIP are available on the left hand side and you can see the total outstanding debt and you can view this um, with the relatively view options and you can produce a statement from here. All the information on that client in relation to their debt history is available. 
right click options give you the various options per transaction. WIP browser shows us what is the outstanding WIP on a particular client. You can see that by period and the last 12 months. And you also have the ability to run WIP detail reports from your report menu. It can be run by entity. And you can go through the relative questions here as you run your report so that you can produce your WIP detail report. This will show both disbursements and time that has been added and not billed, unless you want the full history. WIP is your work in progress for that client. The other items would be specific to your, relatively da your relative database. So a custom layout, you put in on your pages here what is most common for you to be looking at, so you don't have to keep clicking down the left hand side. For each page you have various preferences, show all, show assigned or show unassigned. Show all will show you the gaps. Show only the assigned versions will give you a consolidated view. And if we show this as a data page or read only view it will change the type of information that you have on your screen. These preferences, if I go back to custom view, these preferences will only be saved for this session. If you want to change a particular preference, that is where we go into the settings. For each set, you can determine what are your preferences and then simply exit. Central console, we can type the client. To get back to that client filter, you can simply press series on the page. If you type in F9, it will come back here into your filter. Our help menu will have the shortcuts to move to the various bands. We also have access to the knowledge base, but we can also access that from our personal band. From Central Console, we can also launch other applications. So anything that you've been given the security rights to, you have the ability to launch. The matter band will show everything to do with the matter the relative attributes on that matter, who the partner, the manager, and the person responsible for that matter. You'll also see with the timesheets. You will have different sets available to you that are relative to that matter. The milestone set is usually showed down the bottom of the screen, which tells you the steps that need to be completed for this matter. And if you're using workflow, then you may need to complete the dates, or you can do that from your timesheet to say when you finish the task. XBA Ledger Band, if you've got a ledger linked to the client, you can launch that application from here by just opening the file. You also have access to reports in here by looking at the reports directly from Central Console. The Personal Band, as we said, we can search the knowledge base if you're using workflow, you can have a look at your to-do list. If you have fees to do, it will be under your fees to do. And if you're using ADM, you can also mark documents as your favourites. So then you have a document work list. If your practice uses budgets, you'll be able to see your own personal budget and hours for the week. These are the main navigation items within the central console. The right click options on wherever you are will give you other options depending on the context. Your help menu for practice management can go into the relatively of the sections of practice management for more information. You can also search for the relative details on here. The final item that we'll look at for the navigation is also looking at the filter to look at the different sort builder that you can use. Instead of using the name for the client, you may also use a code. When you use the code, you can still use the wild key characters. You'll see anything that I've got at the top here doesn't have a code. And then the other items down here have the code. Sort builder can be used by ABN, oh sorry, TFN, IRD, code or sort name 
and you also have a filter. The filter could be applied where you have a large practice and you want to filter for only clients under a certain attribute of a partner for example and you could apply and set that for your filter. You'll notice that the icon changes here when that happens. When you hit the star on this time the list is shorter because you have a client filter over the top. To remove a filter simply click on the filter, select no and hit clear filter. Let's recap the learning outcomes for this course. We looked at and understood the importance of Central Console to the Reckon APS applications. We were able to apply the while characters to the client search including the asterisk and the percentage characters and also the sort builder. We successfully navigated around the Central Console and we can refer to the online help. We were able to apply a custom layout to the central console to suit your needs and we could freely move to other applications using the launch menu. Thank you for your time today and if you need to contact us please do so on the numbers on your screen. Thank you.